Hello, Karen from Karen Co. Creative here. If you're new to me and the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and everything you need to run your business online. Today, I have a very quick tutorial showing you how to get rid of the author or the date or whatever you want um, on blog posts in Squarespace 7.1. So that's called metadata. And I had a little bit of a hard time figuring out exactly where to go to get this done. So I'm going to take you over my shoulder and shorten your learning curve. So here we have a 7.1 website. You'll know you have 7.1 if you go to help. It'll show the version down here. So the blog, so this site. So this is a blog. So you see it has dates here. It might also show the author there, depending on what you have currently set up. And when you go to a post, you'll see there is no metadata showing here but there might be an author name or a date here as well. So if you don't want any of those things to show, if we're in the individual post, you're going to come to edit. And then it's this pencil icon. I was looking all over for this and I was in site styles and doing all these things. Nope. It's in this pencil icon. So this pencil icon will show you if you want the date, now the dates there, if I want the author, authors there, author profile. I believe that would be, down here, but I don't have it set up. So that's the only thing that's in there. So these are where all of these settings are. You can just toggle off anything you do not want to show. All right, so I'm going to save that. It's the same thing if you're on the actual blog page. So if we're on the page that is showing all of the posts, we're going to go to edit and this edit section. And here you will also find the metadata. So here it's showing the date. And actually, I don't want the date to show here. So I'm going to select none. So now that's not showing. You could show either the author or the date there. I wonder if I do both at the same time. Nope, you can just select one. Um, in this case, I want none showing. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. If you have more than one blog post, you'll have to do this on each of them. Um, so this one, I already had it set up not to do it. But again, the same thing. Here, if I wanted to, I could have some stuff showing, but I don't want it to. So that's it. Instead of coming to design site styles in 7.0 sites, this is where most of that lived. In 7.1, you're just editing the page and then going to the pencil icon in the top right. All right, well, that is it for today. If you enjoyed this super quick tutorial and found it helpful, please go ahead and like the video and don't forget to subscribe so that you do not miss any further tutorials. All right, thank you.